Welcome to the installation video of the Curt 56139 T-Connector on the 2009 Mazda 6. We estimate this installation to take 30 minutes to 1 hour depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by opening the trunk and removing the floor covering followed by disconnecting the negative battery cable to ensure your safety and the safety of your vehicle's electrical system. Remove the four fasteners holding the scuff panel in place. Lift and pull to remove the scuff panel. Continue by removing two fasteners on the driver's side, allowing you to pull back the felt trunk liner, revealing the taillight wiring harness. Locate the taillight wire harness connectors. They will be similar in color to the T-connector. Carefully disconnect the gray and brown taillight wire harness connectors, and insert the T-connector end with the brown and red wire in between the separated brown connectors. Insert the T-connector end with the yellow wire in between the separated gray connectors. Make sure all locking tabs are in place. Locate a suitable grounding point near the connector. Use an existing screw like we've done here, or drill a pilot hole for the supplied self-tapping screw. Find a suitable mounting location for the black converter box. A level area works best. Using the supplied double-sided tape, firmly adhere the black converter box to the chosen location. Prepare the black power wire by stripping one end of the power wire and inserting the stripped end into the yellow butt connector. Crimp this section together. On the red inline fuse, remove the ends that have been pre-stripped. Insert one end of the red inline fuse wire into the yellow butt connector. Crimp this section together. Finally, remove the remaining pre-stripped end of the red inline fuse wire and crimp the yellow eyelet to the red inline fuse wire, making sure good splice has been made. Continue by removing the accessory nut on the positive battery cable. Place the yellow eyelet over the recently prepared black power wire over the accessory post and refasten the nut. Insert the 10 amp fuse into the inline fuse holder and secure the cap tightly. Route the black power wire around the engine block, keeping away from the engine fans and excessive heat sources. Attach the black power wire with the supplied cable ties. Here we are routing the black power wire along the brake and fuel lines. Continue to route and fasten away from moving parts and the exhaust system. Near the trunk pan, Locate the rubber grommet that gains access into the trunk. Pull the grommet. Cut a slit through the rubber grommet large enough to route the black power wire through. Route the black power wire through the grommet. Route the black power wire into the trunk through the access point and reseat the grommet into the trunk pan. Trim the excess of the black power wire. Strip the end of the recently cut black power wire. Using the yellow butt connector, crimp the black power wire to the power wire of the black converter box, making sure a strong splice is made. Pull back on the passenger side felt trunk liner, revealing the passenger tail light wire connectors. Disconnect the tail light connector and route the similar T connector with the green wire to the passenger side. 
Fully insert the T connector in between the recently disconnected taillight wire connectors, making sure the locking tabs are fully in place. Replace the felt trunk liner. Reattach the scuff panel and fasteners. Replace the trunk floor covering and route the four flag connector to the rear center of the vehicle. Reattach the negative battery cable. Be sure to test your new wiring with an electrical tester or properly wired trailer. This completes the installation of the Kurt 56139 on the 2009 Mazda 6. Need a bike rack or roof rack for your ride? Find all that and more at KurtMFG.com. Kurt, the first name in towing products.